Hi everybody, Steve with the Central Valley Tea Party here. It's a busy summer, 2010, and we've got a huge election coming up in November. It's a real short amount of time to get a lot of things done between now and then. One thing we need to do is keep an eye out for voter fraud. I've asked Dean and Ruth Gardner to come speak to the Tea Party about voter fraud in the Central Valley and the state of California. They experienced it firsthand and they're here to share some of the results from their study. Hi, I'm Dean Gardner. I ran for the state legislature a few years ago, and we, saw, we experienced voter fraud firsthand. I lost by 197 votes. We should have won by more than 22,000 if it had not been for the fraud. We have, in this valley, a thing going on that we need to fix. Now with the SEIU and other groups in bed with Obama, things are going to get worse instead of better in November. Our freedom is at risk, folks. We need your help. I would like now for my wife, Ruth, to talk to you about some of the results we found in the one-year follow-up investigation for the one year after that election. Ruth? One of the first things we did after the election was send a questionnaire to 14,000 Democrats who had registered between the primary and the general election in Kern County portion of the 30th Assembly District. We got back approximately 2,500 2, responses. We contacted these people either by phone or on their doorstep that responded to our questionnaire. And we had people openly admitting to voting multiple times. It's really amazing, but when you ask people a question, they generally will give you an answer. We asked them if they voted more than once, and then we asked them how they managed to do it, and they told us. They manipulated their names or they worked as shields. We were told that labor contractors would pick up groups of people in East LA and bring them to the San Joaquin Valley where they would go from poll to poll, voting under the names of people who were registered to vote in those polls, but had not yet voted. When the day was over, the shills were returned to East LA, handed a $100 bill, and told to forget the day. It is estimated that in 2002, between 1 million and 1.3 million fraudulent votes were cast in the state of California. In 2008, in San Diego County, Approximately 10,000 lifelong Republicans went to vote in the primary and found out that they were registered as Democrats and could not participate in their party's primary election. Now with the open primary, we will see even more manipulation of elections. I asked one guy, talked to him at some length, he voted four times, he said, and I asked him why. And he said, I just care more than most. And I, then he said the most amazing thing. He said, Dean, if we didn't cheat, we couldn't win. And then he said, and you won't do anything about it. Folks, let's prove him wrong. There are many cases, thousands of cases, of voter fraud in the Central Valley. In the please be informed, please be involved. It's our freedom and our way of life and our liberty that's at stake. Thank you.